I feel like growing up, I am the only person who did not get to do a science fair volcano and I'm a little jealous. It just is like the quintessential science fair activity. Like in movies, that's always what you see is someone making one, which I'm like, is that really a science fair project? I could never have gotten away with that at the science fair, but fine, whatever. I was too busy. I was too busy in the science fair testing Debbie Meyer's green bags to see if they actually kept your produce fresh, which like helpful, I guess, but not nearly as fun. Um, you'll see here, uh, this is my lab assistant, Darius. He is a cat um, and he's not very helpful because I'm trying to do things and they do not see if, if you're just gonna get up here and groom yourself, you're not being very helpful. Do you see what I put up with in this institution that I work so hard? This is to pay for your kibble. Just kidding, you don't eat kibble, you're a pate boy. Hopefully he just lays down and then I can do science. That's closer. Yeah, that's a lot closer to what we're asking. You know, that's further, that's further away. I guess none of this right now. I'm gonna have to evict you for the, the ex explosion part, but none of this is dangerous for cats. So if you wanna try to be helpful, I can't really stop you. That Play-Doh is not for you, you are a cat. All right, now that my, my lab assistant is settled in, here's the game plan. The plan is, basically this is a soda bottle, duh. Um, bottle goes in the middle. Oh, you can't see because I've stacked Play-Doh everywhere. Bottle in the middle, you build your dough around, which I'm realizing I did not buy enough. I guesstimated, I think I aired, it's fine. Dough around here to make it look like a volcano. Baking soda. Food coloring, I think this is red. Yeah, it's, the cap's red. They don't, uh, yeah, they don't make the colors different than what's in the bottle. So yeah, baking soda, food coloring, vinegar, explosion is the theory. Do you have any, any questions, any concerns? He's worried that this will prevent me from giving him enough scritches and that is a valid concern because it will. I'm actually not gonna be able to give you scritches while I do this. Can you lay down? Is that possible? Do you know how to do that? Do you know your own name? You're just so happy with all these scratches. I just, how am I supposed to deny you that? Oh, okay. Oh, goodbye. You're leaving me forever? You're done. Stem isn't for you. All right. Oh, he's cleaning his butt. Good for him. So yeah, game plan. Build our, our volcano, our volcano out of these six containers of assorted Play-Doh colors. I didn't buy them because this mix is ugly. They just didn't have enough of any one color. So yeah, we're gonna be careful though. This is, does contain wheat and it's not meant to be eaten. Gonna try to remember that. Um, our reference today is happybrownhouse.com for homeschool kids, apparently. How to make a, vo a volcano, oh my goodness. How to make a volcano with kids. She uses a much smaller container this is what I got. Oh, she used Play-Doh that was old and starting to dry out. Well, I'm using it brand new because I can. Is this for kids? How, how on earth? Okay. It's fine. I forgot what Play-Doh smells like. Why does it smell like that? It's very nostalgic, I'll say that. It's a serious science business and I'm treating it as such. I can't get this out. There we go the best approach she just sort of smashes it on there oh oh it's because her son was smashing it on there all right we're gonna try just flattening it out and then because you want it to be chunkier at the bottom than the top so press it onto the cookie sheet hopefully that will keep it hmm it's gonna be a quite narrow volcano Oh shit, that's so much of my Play-Doh. Oh, this one's already open. That can't possibly be a problem, can it? Oh, this one someone already played with. How concerned am I though? Like, what infection could I get from this? Cause I'm not gonna eat it. Eh. God, whoever let their kid do this or whatever grown up did this deserves a stern talking to. I'm gonna be picking this out from under my nails for the rest of my day. That is so exciting to me. But there's no other way to get this out. Got a few open products in stores and then don't buy them. 
dead to me. Oh, I have a spoon. All right. It's... I think the white's kind of an odd look, but we do have other colors. So we'll get there. That'll be fine. It... I like it kind of... Well, volcanoes aren't just, like, straight up. Like, they're... They've got dimension. This one is definitely sealed, so this one should come out a little easier. Yeah. Just loosen it up. How did they get these in here? Is it witchcraft? Might be. There we go. Let me go. It's like a big booger. We're gonna continue upward and onward. It's hard because all the Play-Doh below it has to support the Play-Doh going up. Because it does not stick to this bottle is what I'm learning. That's fine. It's all going great. Maybe there's a reason I didn't do this as a kid because I probably would have had a nervous breakdown trying to do this. I was a healthy kid. <laughs> it's starting to look... Yeah, I don't... I mean, to be frank, hers doesn't look that fancy either. Obviously it's like, but hers is a kid doing it and mine is a 25 year old doing it. So that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I, I mean, rocks have stripes. There's a name for that in geology. I took geology in college. Don't remember really any of it, except for sometimes I see rocks and go, learned about that. Could I tell you anything? No, no, I don't actually remember the facts. But that's like me with 85% of college classes. Like I'll see someone talk about something and I'm like, I've certainly heard those words before, but did I retain anything? No. Did I need to? No. Am I covered? Oh, so sorry. I'd... Excuse my modesty or lack thereof. I bet if I do enough squishing and squitching, I can get it all the way up around the neck. I mean, it's it's lumpy, but rocks are lumpy. We're gonna use all of this because I want it to look a little more volcanular. Mm. Okay, can I just that one worked? Okay, we're just gonna start smushing this around the bottom a little bit. I'm trying to make it volcano light. I don't know. This is an abomination. They just had such limited colors. It was mostly white. Come on, get out of there. I have to pull you out. I'll do it. I'll show you a thing or two. All right, you showed me a thing or two. Gonna say, if you've ever seen a volcano, it doesn't look a ton like what I've created here today. Mine is better, much more whimsical. Science is hard. Why do you think I went to school to uh, do this for a living? Come on. I guess I went to school to literally be doing science adjacent things. Not really what scientists do, but you know, what young and upcoming scientists do, I assume. Is this what STEM college classes look like? I have to assume it is. Well, that was awfully quick. I always give myself an hour to film and I'm like not even gonna need an hour, which is great. What are next steps? Cause I don't wanna blow this up all over my kitchen. Oh, his looks like a real volcano. This kid got a name so I can be mad at him. No, Sarah's kid. Whatever. His somehow looks better than mine and that's a little offensive. All right. Pour a little baking soda into the top of the volcano. I don't know how much is a little. Two tiny spoons? I'm a little dusty, but I think that's fine. Can you just add the food color straight into the baking soda and then it'll all just erupt? Let's do that. I hope it doesn't react. That was like 10 drops. That seems like a lot, but I don't know. Oh, a drop or two. Well, yeah, that's gonna be awfully rad. Hopefully it does not overflow and die in my house. Are you ready? And watch what happens. Are you ready to watch what happens? You better be watching. Okay, three, two, one. 
I can hear it, but it's not. Oh god. <laughs> Do I have to add... She, he barely put anything in and it just like blew. Huh. I normally plan for failure on these, but uh... I didn't, I didn't expect that it just wouldn't do anything. I was like, oh, it's gonna blow up and like, make a mess. In you go. It's sizzling, like I can hear it. Everything is covered in baking soda at this point. Let's try this again. Well, the stuff on the outside is reacting. That wasn't, like, the big reaction I'd hoped for. We're gonna add more. We're gonna see if we just keep adding stuff, if we can get, like, something to actually happen. Oh, that's a big chunk. Will it go in? I'm getting my eruption. Everything is covered in powder. Oh, it looks so drinkable. Oh, it looks like a nice, like, cherry raspberry soda. Ooh, I wanna chug it. I can't. I can't chug it, but oh. It's still bubbling, it's still going. Oh, I'm amazed. I really was getting a little stressed there for a minute that we were not gonna get anything, but we got it. Wow. This volcano's ugly as hell, but Look what came of it. Look at what we did. This was so underwhelming. <laughs> I feel like as a kid, it's always like, wow. And this one, first of all, I had a fight with it. Don't think that's normal. Second of all, just, it, I mean, it was just like, blah, 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 which I guess, I don't know what I was expecting. I will say it was pretty cool that I, I finally got to like have the experience. Can I make it go again? Do you think? I think it'll work. Alrighty, we're gonna do another one for the fans. Okay, I lied. I was like, I was being mean about it, and I was like, oh, like, wasn't that cool? That was pretty cool. It's, it's still bubbling in there. If I just get the volume enough, more has to come out, right? No, no, that's the answer for that. I think I can add just a little bit more. Come on, over the top, over the top, woo! Amen. I didn't really, I thought I put in too much food coloring, but it's actually quite pink. Then again, I did erupt it many times. So, it's interesting that, oh, the Play-Doh is slimy. Uh, that's not for me. Oh, and I'm dying my fingers. Scrub a dub dub. Bubbles. I don't know why I did that with both hands. I don't have a towel, so. Okay. I just wanted to feel it. <laughs> I guess this is probably why they recommend adult supervision, because I just wanted to stick my hands in it, but that's fine. I did it. I'm excited. I feel like there were more science experiments out there for kids I never got to do. And I'm like, I'm in. So let's say I had another one that was make your own moon crater, which sounded cool, but it's just you don't drop rocks into flour and then there's craters. And I was like, yeah, that's great if you're trying to teach a kid, but if you're trying to have a good day, absolutely not. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna have to scope out some other ones. If you know of any good, Experiments for kids that like you did in school or your kids did or you find online. Let me know. I would be more than happy to do more more kid science. This is very fun. I see why they do this with kids. What did I learn? What did I learn? What did I learn? Um, I learned uh, baking soda and vinegar react. I think that's what they're trying to teach you with this one. 
Um, I learned you can use way more red food coloring if you really want it to like be red. This was quite pink, but I'm not mad. Three, you need more than six things of Play-Doh if you want it to not look like this. Four, play is still really fun. So like if you need like a thing to do this weekend, buy some Play-Doh and just vibe. That's my recommendation. Play-Doh's great. I already lost count. So however many suggestions or learnings that was, that's how many things I learned today. Um, this is a short one. I don't know how long it's gonna be edited, but I've filmed half the time I normally do because I was so efficient and so good at science. Please hold your applause. So yeah, um, thank you for joining me on this little science experiment. Um, hopefully see you again soon. Now I gotta go scrub the, oh, there's just baking soda right on there. That's really nice exfoliation. All right, bye.